All right, folks, so I've been working on this rear end on this Durango here and went ahead and I got the axles back in for good now. I ain't going to take them back out no more. So I got the driver's side back in. That's in for good. I got the passenger side back in for good. Let me get this brake drum off out of the way here. Let me get this off. I can do it one hand here. There we go. But got that out of the way and I uh, got the both axles back in. I got to go ahead and put my studs back in. I went ahead and I knocked my old ones out. So I got the old original ones. There's nothing wrong with them. We're going to reuse them. And the way these are made, these are kind of nice. Let's see if we can zoom. Well, will zoom here. Zoom. Come on now. Anyway, this top here. As long as you don't mess this top up, you ain't got to worry about the threads getting messed up at all. So I just went ahead and knocked them out there. And I went ahead and removed her drain plug from her differential cover here. So hey, I got that out successfully without screwing it up. I'm going to check our new China one, see if it works. But yeah, that's how you fill these rear ends up on these Chryslers here. I didn't know that, so I learned something new every day. But... Yeah, anyway, I'll check to see if a new one works, and I think it does. I mean, it looks just fine. Yeah, it looks the same. I wish I got gear all, all over my hands, but it looks the same. 65293. I think blurry as heck. There we go. But anyway, uh, yeah, they look close enough anyway, so... Went ahead and bought a new one, so I ain't gonna worry about it. Cause I was scared as soon as I took it out that it's gonna break this tip off here and you know. The upper creek, or either worst case scenario, you know, you go to check the rear end here and you know, you take in uh, you go to pull this thing off and do it the wrong way, then it breaks this piece off and it goes inside your differential there and well there you go, you gotta pull the whole cover off just to get that little piece out. So that's why I bought this. I gotta deal with it. But, you know, I never really would have thought about that, but that's a good point. And that's where we're at. So I got our new, or not our new, but I got our pin back in. It didn't have hardly no wear on it. So it looks really good. I got our pin back in, our cross pin. I got our bolt back up in there. And I took it and uh, got everything torqued down and put a little Loctite on it. The way it don't come out and our, you know, rear end self-destructs there. But uh, anyway, got all that good stuff back together. And uh, I did throw gear on our new wheel bearings and our new seals. I put some on there. That way it, you know, it was plentiful, plentiful with that. So you ain't got to worry about running dry bearings and, you know, worry about destroying a brand new bearing. So anyway, I did that and rotate this thing around a few times. And yeah, that's a whole lot smoother, a whole lot smoother. This thing has, looks like it's got three downy two gears. Looks like it. That's what it's calling for. Yeah, it's like 392. And these video quality is horrible here. I apologize for that. But anyway, enough about that. So basically, all I got left now is clean this surface up here, and I'll clean the surface of our cover up, and we'll get that thing buttoned back up here and fill this thing up with gear oil, and we'll throw our wheels back on and. We'll throw this thing back on the ground here and let her ride. And don't forget, before you do all that, make sure when now that before I put our cover back on, make sure this little vent hose. I see this runs all the way down on your axle tube here. A lot of people already know this, but make sure that is clear. If it's not, that will either more than likely it'll just make it gear will run out of the brand new seals, or it can actually blow them out. I've actually seen that happen too. It'll actually basically kind of like hydraulic pressure i guess that's the best way to describe it there but it'll push that all that pressure build up inside this rear end here and it'll push some new seals back out and then you got a major problem then but you know always make sure this thing is clear so i'm gonna or either just you know cut it off and just replace it and even when you replace it make sure it's clear down in this fitting too a lot of people you know even if you throw a new hose on there they forget to make sure that's clear so i gotta do that yet before I even, you know, touch putting this rear end back together. But we got all the hard work done now. So now it's just putting the cover on it. Make sure that's clear. And fill her up with gear oil. And we'll throw our drums on, our wheels and tires. And sit this bad boy on the ground. And off to the alignment shop we go. 
and get our state inspection and I'm calling it good and we'll enjoy it for a little while and drive it and that will be where we're at and I gotta show you something real quick I want to show you all something here no it's not in the Durango here that's right I put it up I put my keys up so oh well but anyway this muffler on this side on this truck here this is a little off topic here but this muffler on this side is shot. I mean, it's completely shot. I mean, it is rattling so bad now that it don't matter where you drive. It sounds like, like if you ever get paint mixed up in the machine, the way it makes it sound where it just, you know, the way it shakes the paint can back and forth. That's what this sounds like. I mean, it sounds exactly like it. But I mean, this thing is just, this thing is, this thing's a piece of shit. I mean, I'm sorry, but it is. I mean, this thing is, it, this truck has had it. it. It's about done. We got, the motor is, you know, got, I don't know if it's got a blowed head gasket or if it's cracked head, but we're getting coolant back in the oil again. And we got some issues there and the mufflers are, well, the one is on the driver's side here, it's, basically all, i don't know if the insides of it just you know come loose and rattle around inside and there or what's going on or if it just rot to pieces but the muffler shot the fender shot on this thing and you know i'm not trying to pick it apart here but it's just it's getting to a point now where it's kind of getting ridiculous with this thing our brakes on this wheel here or i didn't have a chance to do this yet so i got to do that because that's the shoes are eating into this drum here and every time I hit the brakes it vibrates like crazy and it, it's just time to pull this thing off the road I mean I, I, if I had it my way I'm not going to do it but you know half tempted just to take and crush this thing because it's just got so many issues the heat don't work anymore you gotta you know hot wire that over to make it blow and it's just oh man the, the duck work it's so messed up it's just this truck has had it it's been a good truck you know it's got me by i'm not trying to you know pick it apart or nothing but it's just it's had it you know we got a alignment issue on the front because i never got a front alignment here because that's why our tires getting bald and before we know it we're going to be hitting steel on this side and it's just it's got so many issues i don't know if the wheel bearing race on this hub here it's done spun and uh, or if the bearings just loose i've never really heard of a loose bearing you know yeah they do wear but the way that thing feels here is i think what's happened is that race is done spun because that's what happened on the driver's side is the race spun in the hub and you know it just it ruins the hub the hub is junk then but I don't, i'm not sure if that's what's happened or not this side i had to replace so it might have happened to the other side but Hopefully not, but it's just, I mean, this truck is it's to the point now where it's just, it's almost, you know, I want to fix it, you know, I don't want to scrap it, but it, I almost want to just put it out of his misery. I mean, it's just, it's getting kind of ridiculous now, but I'm not going to do that, you know, we're not going to do that, you know, just gets aggravating sometimes because, you know, this truck is shot and now this one's going to be down for a while while this one will be driven but that's okay that's okay because we got a good one now and i hope it'll last hopefully we can get at least two three years out of it and you know we'll get rid of it and get something newer that's the plan you know but this truck is just it's time to pull it off the road so it's like the whole concept is you know you get one straightened out and then this one you know this truck's been running the ground and you know, it's just, I don't know. I don't want to crush it, but it's just, you know, it's getting to that point. It's just got way too many issues, but we're not going to do that. Don't worry, folks. But It is tempting, though, but nah, I'm not going to do that. We'll make our dream happen. I'll find my F-150 frame, and we'll build it the way I want it. But anyway, enough about the truck here. But that's where we're at. We got a basket case C10 here. That's the new name of it. It's the basket case C10. Then we got our Durango here. And <laughs> long live the Durango. I guess we'll call that the new name of it. Long live the Durango. And then we got our mystery car right here, which is our 59 Biscayne. And 
I ordered the headliner bows and I uh, found good original ones and the guy is out so he's out of stock of course they don't reproduce them but so evidently he must have had a bunch of stock of you know originals there and run out so that's kind of disappointing because I was wanting to get the headliner bows for it too and I got you know the door I'm still waiting on the door I'm waiting on a radiator support yet and got a lot going on here so Anyway, that's where we're at. So we're going in the video here. I'm going to get this rear end wrapped up on this Durango. And, oh, man, I'll be so glad. Get this thing on the road and wrap it up and pull this C10 off the road. And we're going to park that truck for a while because it's, it's got some major issues. I mean, it's it's to the point now where it's just, I don't even want to drive it now. It's just aggravating. But anyway, that's where we're at. And y'all take care. And... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Sorry the videos ain't the greatest quality, but I try to do the best. This is not a how-to and at all, and this is just the story of our Durango. So long live the Durango. That's the new name of it. Long live the Durango. Maybe we'll get a logo paint on the side of that, but I'll see y'all later. Bye.